Hey, Andrew Chalman here with a video about MIDI controllers and machine. Um, so this is going to be a little setup video. So I'm using a Control F1, um, but if you have a generic MIDI keyboard or any other device that sends out MIDI, um, this video will hopefully be of use. Um, so what we're going to do here is just talk about how MIDI controllers work by default, and then some different ways to set these up and, um, and get these a little bit more usable. Um, so let's talk about how they work by default. So um, if I just have this plugged in, it's going to play whatever sound I have selected on the machine, and it's going to play different pitches of that. So if I select, say, the shaker over here, my MIDI controller is playing different pitches. It sounds pretty weird because the octave is so low, um, but it is going to play different pitches of whatever sound is selected. And this is helpful if you have a keyboard, you'll be able to play sort of melodic bits of whatever sound you have selected on your machine. Um, but if you have something more along the lines of this Control F1, um, you sort of want to be able to play the different sounds on the different pads and not just one sound on all the pads. Um, so this is going to be a quick little setup tutorial on how to achieve that. Um, I think the best way to do it is by using this default function in machine called mapping different sounds to MIDI notes. I think that's what it's called. Um, so let's go ahead and show you how to do this. The first thing we'll do here is just set the group MIDI input to the correct, uh, to the correct device that you're using. I'm not sure if you have to do this, but I do it anyways. Uh, and I'll just show you, it's really easy. So just go to group over here, make sure you're on the channel option over here, and then scroll all the way over to input. And now we have an option for source, and we can just select um, whatever one we're using. In this case, it's going to be my um, this one over here, my tractor control F1. And now my group is looking for MIDI input from the control F1. And now that we have that set up, I'm going to go into the software, and then just right click on my group, and go down to group MIDI batch setup, and then select sounds to MIDI notes. Now this is going to map every different sound in your group to a different MIDI note, starting with whatever root note it is. I'm pretty sure it starts with C1. Um, so now if I play my pads on the Control F1, they are all mapped out to the different sounds. Um, so you need to go into your MIDI controller. Um, if you're using a native instruments one, you can use the controller editor software. I mean, make sure that you're on C1 down here. Um, alternatively, if you don't want to work with that, um, you can go to your group option and then change the root note over here and that will allow you to sort of transpose all the different sounds to different notes. Um, you can also use that other option in the group MIDI batch setup, sounds to MIDI channels, um, but that is something for a later video. I just want to show you how to work with this sounds to MIDI notes option. Um, so go ahead and play around with this if you have an external MIDI controller. Um, I think it's really helpful because it allows you to control those different sounds rather than just sort of being locked into keyboard mode on an individual sound. Um, so hopefully this video is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions and stay tuned for next week's quick tip.